how do you connect with that inner, you could call it guru, you could call it wisdom, you could call it the Atman, you could not call it anything. The way of approaching it is through space, through giving space. That is, when um, somebody does something to you, the reaction between the stimulus and the reaction is just a little tiny bit of space. And that space is the perspective that allows you to see what's happening. For example, if I'm sitting with my mala, my beads, just doing Ram, Ram, Somebody comes up to me and says, You really blew it the other night. You were terrible. I just thought I'd tell you that. Now, uh, ego in me will go, well, there were all kinds of circumstances that you demanded that I had, a, you know. But in me, there is also this wrong. And all I see is Maharaji in drag coming up to run me through. Go ahead, I'll catch you this time. Because from where my, according to my method, everybody I meet is the same being, just with different faces. It's all central casting. Like everybody here, or well, most everybody here, thinks they're somebody or other. Behind who you think you are, we are. As long as I'm busy thinking I'm somebody, then if you do something to who you think I am, who I think I am responds, and we get into a mechanical runoff, which there's really nothing happening at all except just mechanics. Now, giving that space doesn't determine what the response will be, but the response, I might hit the guy. I don't know. But that space, that perspective, which is what the use of mantra is about in daily life, it's what's called meditation and action, in Trumpa's words. That space just makes the whole thing start to be tuned to a different plane of reality, 